more accomplished than I am in poker and they've been around a lot longer, kind of set the tone and bully me around a little bit in the beginning. I don't mind getting a little bit short stacked. I felt confident that as long as the cards break out even, I'd have a chance to get those chips back and utilize the image that I garnered by playing pretty tight in the beginning. Pretty much all my matches, the lead goes back and forth a couple times, and then I kind of start to come on really strong in the middle. If that's the case, Craig, everything going according to plan. She's got Huck right where she wants him. Phase one complete for Russo. Eight tray suited. Call. Call. She calls. Huck all takes in. a look only at one card. It's a four, and he puts Vanessa all in. That is amazing. Huck will just ship his whole stack out there. I mean, he had Vanessa covered, having looked at just one card, and that card was a four, no less. Why even look? He has given her no credit for limping with big hands. Ace tray. It's so boring when he looks at both. All in. <laughs> That's not boring. He puts Vanessa all in again. Six tray suited, okay. and Vanessa folds. Huck playing with fire a little earlier in this match than he did with Sammy. And now with nearly a three to one chip lead, he looks mild mannered, but don't let that fool you. Huck seed's been bringing pure heat. I think I played against Elky too long. Intense. I'm all in. You definitely play it like you have a better hand than I do. I'm not giving credit. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all in. Huck has been adapting remarkably in his past two matches, Craig. Against Sammy Farha, the gear shift came when he picked up back-to-back -back threes, started moving all in. Here, he got away with the bluff, representing the flush. Vanessa's been limping the button, and he's been moving all in, and he's doing it again here. With Queen Deuce suited, Vanessa folds yet again. Everything going right for Huck, perfect timing, and his instincts dead on as well. I thought you liked my style. I do like your style. What's this, what's this all about? What's what about? <laughs> you you want to make it 300000 to go? I mean... Huh? Vanessa showing signs of frustration. That won't be lost on Huck. So going all in, you went all in, I went all in. I'm One time. I'm hey, copying your style. Like I'm, I'm one to four here. Queen well, Jack for Vanessa. All in. All in. She Not goes two all two in. Two four. See, now uh, you, you're copying my style. <sighs> Got one good one. King Jack suited for Huck. He's going to think this one over, Craig. All right. Huck calls. He calls. Let the oh, games God. begin. Well, That's a hard to call. Huck loves Huck this seat. spot. He's got Vanessa dominated. In great shape to win this pot and the first match good. in our that best of best three final. That's the best you could hope for. <laughs> Here's the flop. Here comes the flop. Ace, Ace nine high. five, Vanessa in dire straits. Still ahead. She's a big dog here, hoping to hit a queen. Here's the turn. Six of hearts Six on the turn. Just three outs for Vanessa to double up Here's and stay river. alive in Wait. this first match. Huxie. River Wait. pairs the Wait. board. Wait. Hux King plays Wait. first Wait. match in the Wait. final to we see. We get to do it again. We get to do it again. Oh. That was the best hand I saw in like 85 hands. Really? I got caught aces cold. one time. I got those two aces in there. I had quads. When it came to ace ace king like or ace ace ten deuce or whatever. Yeah. So you know, ace ace were the turn in river. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Don't that worry, man. I paid for oh, it. Oh, I almost called you. I had a king, you know, I had a king. Uh, that was a good laydown I made. Oh, All right. Oh, yeah, I got you. That's the best you could hope for. Huck takes a 1-0 lead in the best of three final. He and Vanessa Russo continue their clash for the title as the National Heads Up Poker Championship continues.
Welcome back to the National Heads Up Poker Championship presented by GoDaddy.com. In this best of three finals, match one went to Huck Seed. Now he's one win away from the Heads Up title. Vanessa Russo needs to win two straight to take home half a million dollars. Huck, what do you have to do to keep the momentum going? Uh, I think I just have to bear down and really focus on each hand, you know, and just stay in the match as hard as I can. Vanessa, were you happy with how you played? I'm going to make a couple of adjustments. Uh, I don't know, you know, I guess I'll have to wait and see uh, how some of the hands went down. He didn't give me very much to work with, so. OK, I'm, all I'm right. not too sure. I'll let you guys get back at it. Let's get the cards it's in the air. It's tough when you don't see a lot of hands, showdowns. You don't know what, what happened. But we did have a lot of showdown down hands, though. Lines back to three and 6,000, each with 640,000 once again in chips. Huck one win away from the $500,000 in cash and the title. He spoke briefly with Vanessa about the challenges of making adjustments when you don't have information based on showdowns and hole cards. But they had a quick post-match discussion, exchanged some information about some hands, and now they've shed some light on one another with respect to their play. Limp pot. Inside straight draw for Huck. Vanessa pairs her deuce. Huck bets 10,000. Cheap stab at the pot with a draw. Vanessa calls. Turn pairs the board. Vanessa now with two pair. She actually doesn't mind that card. Makes it less likely that Huck has a seven in his hand. He bets 18,000. Vanessa calls. Huck following through with a second barrel. She's not going to give him the pot yet. Blank on the river. Nothing. Check, check. God, nice call. Vanessa takes down the pot. Well, you certainly can't argue with the win, Ali, but did Huck stick with the strategy you thought he would in match number one? Absolutely, Craig. He let Vanessa put in a lot of min raises before the flop. He took the flops cheaply, never played back at her at that point. She put in the continuation bets, and that's when he picked up a small chip lead, and then that big pivotal pot about two-thirds of the way through is really what the match hinged upon, and he just rode that into the first victory. Vanessa now with her back against the wall, so does she need to change her approach at all in match number two? Craig, she doesn't seem to think so. I asked her right before this match if she's going to change anything, what would it be? She said run better. So she thinks she's got the winning formula and the right approach, but that the deck didn't cooperate. I look for more of the same from both her and Huck in this second match. Why is it then, Ali, that she told Leanne she was going to make adjustments? How do you know when a poker player's lying, Craig? When their lips are moving. Fair enough. Vanessa with 10-6. Limps in. Four tray for Huck. He checks. Fours and an open-ended straight draw for Huck. Sixes for Vanessa. Huck bets 10,000. Leading out out of position again. Vanessa raises to 30,000. Doesn't want a smooth call and leave control in Huck's hands. She wants control of this pot. Huck mucks, and Vanessa takes it down. So far, so good in this second match for her, Craig. Two straight pots. All right, Phil, I think it's banana time. Or do you think it should be fruit bowl time? Which one should we go for? Oh, thank you, brother. Did Phil pack Huck's lunch? What is happening right now? I think I'm going to go with the banana first. Pulling out ammunition here. After that last hand. Phil Helmuth, corner man. <laughs> Do you see that stealth black banana, case? That must be some top secret banana. <laughs> Six tray for Huck, he calls. There's a cut opening up over his eye. A7 for Vanessa. Checks. She checks. Here, let me make it, yeah. Vanessa pairs her ace. Check, check. Vanessa hits the seven now with two pair. She checks. Huck drawing dead. He bets.